Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello. Old. What's up, Chris? What's up, guys? All right. So tell us about this alien thing. So yeah. So th- um, again, I think this was at CinemaCon, but um, they asked uh, Catherine Waterson or Waterston, excuse me, if um, there's going to be a sequel to Alien Covenant. And she was basically like, hey, I have no idea. Right. But also, besides that, Ridley Scott was making rounds talking up Alien Awakening. Which, you don't really talk up a movie. Yeah, but you don't really talk up a movie that doesn't exist unless you're working on it. So I'm kind of thinking that... I think it's... I think it's a good chance that he's going to be doing another alien movie. I'm pretty sure. Now I'm pretty sure he's also going to be going in a completely different direction than the David thing. Really? I wonder why, because again, Oh, there's these weird plans now we have for alien. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine where he could have came up with these concepts. And you know, this may totally not be connected to alien covenant. And maybe, take place later, later. I don't know what the hell it's going to be, but supposedly there's a, there's a chance that we're having an alien awakening. Now, the timeline for this is very, very small because somebody, you know, maybe it's a mouse, maybe it's, you know, a whole bunch of superheroes. I don't know. They're going to have the keys to the kingdom when it comes to the alien franchise. So the House of Mouse, Disney, is going to have alien movies. That's part of the contract. Oh, so that's great. why Fox was trying to throw the kitchen sink out with all their movies of yeah. X-Men and X-Men this, X-Men that, Deadpool, X-Force, X-Your Mama, and New Mutants, Horror, the everything. The next X-Men movie will be the final Fox movie anyway. Right, because at some point in time, yeah. there's like a cutoff date, mm-hmm. and it all ends. Because if, if you look at the promotional thing from uh, Deadpool to X-Men, one of those letters is always highlighted. Right. So they have a, 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 they have a window they have to get it out within that time frame because even though they may not make a movie right away for Alien and Disney, mm-hmm. you're not going to tell me you're going to spend billions of dollars mm-hmm. and not use one of their things. No way. They're no, using no. everything. They're going to do something. They're going to do something. Everything. They're using They're every one of their properties. Be, I'm going to say if not a month to it, then a year, then at least a year to when when the turnover goes, to go. Here's your alien movie. Now keep in mind oh, here's, too. Here's, here's, the, here's our premise that we're going to try to put out. Keep in mind too, they have Predator also. Mm-hmm. So you have to get this movie out, and you can't delay it too much nope. because they are taking Predator along with mm-hmm. them. They are also getting Independence Day. Not that they're going to do anything like you might reboot it probably. But they're getting independent. There's a lot of movies that you don't that, even know they're going to have. Gonna have. To say, that would be kind of interesting to see them combine maybe the Alien or Predator thing with Independence Day. Well, I, don't know if, I mean, I don't know if they, you know, they could do that, but I don't think they could because I, I don't, don't know. Yeah, but still. I, I mean, mean, but I, I, I see them doing this. a cinematic universe yeah. of Alien movies mm-hmm. and Predator movies and something else. Yeah. Because I'm trying to see, do they have I'm not, holding my, I'm not holding my breath that they're going to do that. I just thought that would be kind of interesting. Now, I don't know. I have to look this in. But I remember originally they wanted Species to be like another yeah. alien in that mm-hmm. thing. And it didn't work. But um, I don't know if they're going to have Species as well. I have to look into that. If they but, stopped at uh, the first one, they may have had a better chance. That's like five now, right? Four or yeah. five. And that's and that's the size of the bust anyway. So and, and what's the other story? The other story is big to me because I'm a Trekkie. So Oh, so yeah, apparently they're making two more Star Trek films. It's official. <laughs> Signed, sealed, delivered. Doesn't matter what this one does that they're making. Two 
are in. And just like I said, they were signed for two more. Mm-hmm. Yep. So you know what? Those Rather dudes, than have, have to pay them money, money yep. for not doing a picture, mm-hmm. they're popping those two suckers out. So we are getting two Star Trek movies with Zachary Quinto, with Christopher Pine, with the mm-hmm. whole cast mm-hmm. that's left in there. So, and w- one of them is probably going to be Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah, yeah. One yeah, of them may be an offshoot. Maybe like they'll they'll encounter City on the Edge of Forever, or maybe it'll just be, you know, the Mirror Mirror or whatever. Yeah. But they're, they're going to have two movies. So that I'm happy for. And yes, it goes to pro- show and prove that all the people that said that Star Trek Beyond flopped and it's not getting a sequel, wrong. Oh. You're getting two. So. That's that. It's yeah. put to rest forever. Star Trek Beyond, while not the, the, the success they wanted, enough as of a success to get two yeah. movies. We're ready to go. All right. Of course, we've got Discovery coming back, too. So, okay, it's about that. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye for now.